Hello everyone, how are you? This is Carmen, I'm from the Customer Experience team. Um, welcome to our webinar called Search Features, the, the Four Main Pillars. Um, the objective of this uh, webinar is to master user experience and uh, optimize the conversions. Uh, as the Customer Experience team, we've decided to make this webinar so you can have a better understanding of the tool and how to add value to your website. Okay, so let's get started. Um, again, welcome to everyone. Um, a brief introduction I'm from the customer experience team. I joined DoFinder one year ago approximately, and nice to have you everyone here today. Okay, so let's start with the basic concept. How does, Do, how does the search work in the DoFinder? So basically, DoFinder returns results by applying its search algorithm according to the search engine configuration. It ranks them from a, by relevance, a, as a default we have it as score, from highest to lowest. The greater the match between the search term entered and the index context, the higher the relevance it would have. Okay? So the structure of the webinar is basically we have a little bit of theory and then we pass to the admin panel so that we can explain everything and then we go to some examples that we have prepared. Okay, so first we have a look at the four main pillars. Where do we find these pillars? When, here when you go to the do find the admin panel you can see your homepage. In the left side of the menu we can see the search bar. Once we click on here we will see the statistics, the main statistics regarding searches, click-through rate and conversion rate. Um, but if you scroll down, here we can see our four main pillars. This is where DoFinder makes most of its magic, as we could say like that. So we work with these four, um, four pillars. So we have the top searches, top clicked, top opportunities and no results. Okay, so let's look at the top searches. What are top searches? Top searches refer to the most frequent queries users make in your online store. In other words, it's what customers are searching for. When we go here in top searches, you can click on the search term and see where people have clicked. How do we work with top searches? We need to identify the ones that have a low click-through rate. For example, shoes. What do we do with this information? We need to make a custom result. But first of all, what is a custom result? We can, have, we can find this in the, in the left-hand side menu. menu. Okay, so um, we, uh, what's a custom result? A custom result is basically uh, the way that you can personalize the results for a specific search term. For example, if we uh, go to add custom results, in this case it was the example of the shoes, so in here we type the exact match that people are looking for. It can be shoes or imagine that you have other terms that people are looking for, you can also add them there. The duration, we can add it for a specific, say, a sp specific date period or run this continuously. And we can select a, to display the results that we have decided to add into this custom result or the results plus then the natural results. Okay, so then we have two options for custom results. We can add uh, items individually or through a specific rule. Okay, individual items, uh, it's based on, for example, your own experience within your shop that you know that the most popular shoes are X. So you display those ones or whether you want to add through a specific rule and say um, the most popular brand that we have is Nike. So we are promoting that brand uh, for when people look for shoes, for example. Okay. So let's go back to customer results. In customer results, you can also see some statistics. We can see the number of impressions, which is the number of people that have been looking at this specific term. And then we can see the click and the click through rate. This information um, identifies whether it's useful uh, for this customer result for your website and whether people are clicking on it or not. Okay, as mentioned, well, I'm, I, I don't believe I have mentioned this, but this is just a brief demo. So the examples that we see here, well, that we see here are not real, <laughs> okay? Okay, so let's jump to the top clicked products. We go back to the uh, uh, four main pillars. Top click are the products that customers have clicked the most. How do we make the most of the top click products? We have two options, either increase the, the visibility through some boosting rules that I'll explain further, or uh, here, if you go to top click, we can click on the term and you can identify which terms people are looking for that have redirect them to this uh, product. So what we can do here is in the custom result and these specific terms so that we can optimize this or make a new custom result, okay? 
So the other option is boosting rule. What is boosting rule? Basically, boosting rules enhances the product visibility. So we have several options of boosting rules. Um, first, we have the automatic boosting rule, uh, which is basically that if you leave to find a running for 15 days, it would identify which products have been the most clipped and will automatically give like a multiplying factor to increase the score. We can see here in results preview the score of the products. For example, if we type shirt here in results preview, you would see an automatic boost. And here is the score of the product here and it would give for example if your boosting is 1.5 so it will be 6.31 times 1.5 for example going back to customers so, eh, to boosting rules sorry so we also have the option to do a manual boosting that this would be more of the case of the top clicks for example if we go back to our statistics we could see here that a Nike performance gym retro brack is one of our top products so we on top of this we will give it a manual boosting to it so multipliers multiplying its score. The third option that we have for boosting rules is a specific rule. For example, I have, um, I have my home brand that in this case it would be Nike. So I want to promote that brand so that it always appears at the beginning of our top uh, of our searches. Bear in mind that boosting rules is as of a general character, like it's for any search. I, on the contrary to customer result that it was for a specific search term. Okay. So in here we would add the name of the boosting rule that we give, the multiplier factor that we're giving. I would recommend, we normally recommend to not put more than two. So from 1.5 to 1.8, for example. And then here we add the specific condition. For example, in this case, brand equals Nike. This is also for the example in the case of that you want to have a specific promotion. Imagine that you want first all the products to appear with a calculated discount. So here we would, we would go to condition, sale price is from one to whatever. And in that way, for all the searches that people are making, first the ones that would appear would be the ones that have a, a calculated discount, okay? So going back to our presentation, um, here is basically the terms that we have for each of the rules that I have just mentioned, each of the three main pillars of boosting. And let's go back to our four main pillars. The next one would be our top opportunities. What's our top opportunities? Basically, it's the search terms that do not return a perfect match. How do we make the most of these top opportunities? Is reviewing these terms in results preview, analyzing the results that have been given, and if you identify that the results are not accurate, we could then apply a synonym. So for example, when we go back to results preview, let's type um, an error, for example, let's type Nike without the I. Here we can identify that it's already, here we can see in query type fuzzy, and we can identify that it's already showing the, the correct results. Therefore, in this case, we could put it as a synonym or we could just leave it like that, okay? The synonyms are also used in case of, uh, for example, sneakers, trainers, or shoes. We first need to put the words that we have on our product feed and then the other possible options that we have. To add a synonym, basically we go here. Uh, we normally do not use explicit replacement, so stay focused on synonyms. And as mentioned, first add the words that you have on your product feed and then the other synonyms that could be an, as an example. Here we have another tool that is called AI Synonym Boost that you could use in case that you see an, a, some options here that could work for your website. So the last pillar that we have is no result. What is no result? No result to queue when a search returns no matches. The objective of this is basically to transform a no result search into a sales opportunity. How we do this? Through custom results, linking it to possible banners. For example, in the website we type Nike, but my store does not have any Nike store products. So what's the objective? Basically, the objective is to show complementary or substitute products to, the, to this term that people are looking for. And we do this through linking it to a banner. We say, sorry, we do not have these results that you're looking for, but please take a look at these other results. And this is a way of trying to push sales or conversions. Going back into the Do Finder and Name panel, here is where we can see all our no results. As mentioned, this is just a demo, so we try to keep the no results below a 1%. 
So we imagine that this in here in the no results section we would see Nike or a product that we don't have or a brand that we don't have but we can show complementary products or other brands similar to this. So basically we do a custom result. Okay, so then we would link the custom result to a specific banner. When we go to banner, there's two types of banners. So we have the visual configuration or the code configuration. In this case, the code configuration could also work. It's just typing a text, a sentence that would appear. Have this product available. Please check these others. This would be an example. And the other example that I just shown would be the visual configuration. Here you can also add a specific landing page for when people click on this specific banner. Um, this would also be the case if you want to add any specific promotional banners not related to a uh, no results, for example, but imagine that you would want to add a banner of a new collection. You can decide whether to put it as a default or as for a specific term as we were mentioning. You can also decide whether to put it for a specific uh, date period, for example, a Black Friday promotion. You can use uh, this tool that we have here to choose the dates that you would like to set this up. So as a recap, as a recommendation that the customer experience gives, it's very important to look at the statistics and based on this, use the tools that DoFinder has to optimize the value of, the, of DoFinder to your website. So this has been everything from uh, our site today. My colleague here has been uh, looking at the chat and we have seen many questions. So we have been selecting some of them. Perfect. So let's jump to some of the questions we have. So first question, my goal is to improve conversion in my online store, ensuring that customers find what they're looking for. When they type a key product, I want to highlight relevant items in my store. Okay, so basically to look for improve the conversion, uh, we would always recommend uh, to use custom results, which allows you to uh, showcase key products in the search results uh, based on the market intelligence. So what we're trying to do here is basically translate the uh, experience that you have on your own, on your physical store to what you have on your online store. For example, your employees in your physical store know exactly what type of products to recommend when uh, someone comes, uh, comes looking for a, a specific product. We try to translate this experience into the online store by app. And given the opportunity to identify the exact product that you want to display for any specific search term. This again is a custom results. I hope that was clear. So jumping to the second question, what to do when a user doesn't get any search results? If a user gets no results, instead of losing this sale opportunity, again, what we can do is set up a custom result with that specific search term and provide substitutes or complementary products. Uh, again, we could link this to a specific banner to inform, product, to inform customers that we do not have this product, but we do have these other brands or these other uh, com complementary products that could uh, be a good match to what people are looking for. Instead of losing this customer, we're trying to even push them. So the third question and the last one for today would be, uh, what's the difference between boosting and custom result? Okay, as explained uh, previously, custom result is for a specific, it's personalizing the results for a specific term. And the boosting rule is generically, it's for any search that people make, we are trying to prioritize or increase the positioning of a, spe of a specific product or of a specific rule. And custom result is for a specific term. You want to select the product that I want to show for a specific term. Thank you very much. Uh, we've noticed that we had some uh, very specific questions on the chat, so um, we would like to look uh, deeper into this. So feel free to send an email with those inquiries to our customer success alt2finder.com. Um, we will be answering to all these questions uh, as soon as possible. Um, so this presentation will be uh, upload it on the admin panel and we will also send you to everyone that has attended the, the link to this webinar, okay? Thank you very much. I hope it was useful. Have a good day.